Let's make it two, where the camera will automatically follow you on a clip. There are multiple ways to easily create this effect. With the clip selected, I will scroll down under the Basics tab. On the right-hand side, I am going to select Camera Tracking. Both of the features we use today are Pro features. Once I click the checkbox to add it, I will then click Start. It will give me the option to start rendering and be added into the clip. It allows you to select which body parts to track. We will keep it selected to face. It takes a few minutes to process. Once it's done processing, we will select the Fit to Canvas option. This will prevent the clip from moving off the screen by zooming in slightly. On the other clip, I will show you how to use the AI movement tool to make your video a little more dynamic. Make sure your other clip is selected and return back to the Basics tab on the right-hand side of the screen. Scroll down to the AI movement tool and click the checkbox to add it to the clip. This tool allows you to select different styles of movement for you clip and you can sample each one to see which best suits your project. All of them are great, but I think the dynamic is best suited for this clip. Each option allows you to adjust movement, level of shaking and zoom. However, for the beginner, the basic effect does a really good job and saves a ton of time. Overall, this feature is very impressive and allows you to create very engaging videos. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please take the time to like, comment and subscribe as it helps us to further please our YouTube overlords. Check out more links in the description for continued assistance on your CapCut projects and please keep your arms and legs inside the craft until it comes to a complete stop. Be sure to mind your headspace and watch your step as you exit. Failure to comply may result in serious injury or death. We will see you next time Comet Creators and Transmission.